Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. It's Wednesday, the 2nd of December, match day, Juventus, Dinamo, Kiev. I told you, oh, I don't know if I told you, but the last few games, I was not really nervous about the game. I was chill because I told you already, we are qualified. We have 9 points, Barcelona 12 points and the other ones has 1 point each. So we are already qualified. For me, I was quite chill until this morning because I woke up and the first thing I heard this morning is... In my head, I was like, the champions. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I am already in total Champions League spirit. I want to win. So stay with us because we will go through the Italian and international papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus. It's not only an important game for me, but also for Juventus, because winning this evening can bring us two news. The first one is giving us the possibility to go as the first in the group, because if we win today and the last game versus Barcelona more than 3-0, that means that we will be first in the group. So that's why it's an important game. The second reason why is because winning will give in the finance 2.7 million euro. So absolutely not... Uh, we, we can't absolutely not say no to 2.7 million because that's a big difference if we win today. So I'm sure Pirlo will do everything we can to win. Testing new players or old players that didn't have the time to play until now. I speak about Kulusevski and McKenny. We will see it will be a really interesting game. As usual, we will be live during the halftime. After the game, post game, I hope we can smile, I hope we can celebrate the win. If you're, you can't wait as me to be at the game this evening, you can already see the El Tactico game that we analyzed yesterday with my friend Mo El Tactico on the channel. It's already there, you can find it easily. Don't forget, if you want also to have uh, one hour to spend with me and some guests, you have also the Juventibus, the JB World live session that we had yesterday. It was Simply amazing. Now we go to the front page, starting with Corriere dello Sport. Lukaku il Magnifico. Speaking about Inter, Lukaku the Magnificent, because yesterday he scored a two goal. Uh, victory 3 2 versus uh, the German team, as Buffon is calling it. Are they speaking about Juve? Yes, actually, yes. In the right side of the page, they are saying Pirlo chiude a Dibala. Non penso al tridente. Uh, Pirlo is closing uh, at Dibala. He's not thinking at the the offensive trio speaking about Ronaldo, Morata and Dybala. Why is he not thinking about that? He didn't really explain, but he said that tomorrow Morata will play, or tomorrow, today, Morata will play with uh, Ronaldo, Dybala will rest, maybe he will enter in the last uh, minutes of the game, because he will be the one that will play versus Torino on Saturday or Sunday this weekend. Um, you know, a lot of people, I see it in the comments and continue com to comment because I love to read them. But a lot of people are saying we want to see them, the three together. Pirlo is absolutely not thinking about it because today we are looking for stability, a defensive stability as well because we are always conceding a goal. Pirlo is looking for that if we start with the three of them in the front that will even make the team more unstable. So this is not an option today. And also because we don't have a lot of people as strikers on the bench that can enter the game and change the game we know, meanwhile we are busy so at the moment until January with the market I don't believe really in the option of seeing the three of them starting together except of some parts of the game Gazzetta dello Sport l'Inter e viva Inter is uh is, is still is still there is still alive because yesterday they won and then they speak about uh, Juventus because they said Juve Dinamo Kiev Ronaldo con Morata Ronaldo with Morata in the night of Frappar Rapar is the referee, the women referee, that will be for the first time um, directing a game in Champions League. They spoke so much about Corriere dello Sport and Gazzetta dello Sport about Inter, so I wanted to go to analyze the situation in their group. Uh, we see that after five games, Men uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach is first with eight points, Jacques Dardone at seven, and then we have Real Madrid, seven points, Inter, five points. They are last even with the victory of yesterday. The, in Italian, we call a biscotto. What is a biscotto in football terms? It's when two teams agree 
and officially to draw so that nobody's hurt and both of them go to the next round is that a possibility will we see a biscotto between real madrid and borussia mönchengladbach so that in their wins they go in uefa uh, europa in sorry in europa league and the two other ones will go in champions league i'm really crazy but i found already some biscotto biscotto in italian is a cookie i saw biscotto images on the web look at it and another news about the same group about the Real Madrid there was yesterday on Marca they were already saying that uh, uh, in Spanish I mi madre el bicho come te echen de menos and Madrid they were speaking about Ronaldo how much they were missing him in Madrid and I wanted to say to all the Madrid supporters I'm sorry it's already the third year that Cristiano Ronaldo decided to leave you to join the best team in the world Juventus Tuto Sport Tuto Sport is speaking about uh, Lukaku si vai Inter Lukaku yes go Inter and then they are speaking about Pirlo do fastidio I'm annoying some people those were the words of Pirlo Pirlo yesterday in press conference, he says, um, um, Dinamo Kiev is tonight, and then he said to the critics, uh, when we are not winning, a lot of gossip is surrounding Juve, but I don't care, I know what to do. And I'm super happy about uh, uh, Pirlo saying I know what to do, because at the moment the team needs some confidence. What are the lineups of today? Because Pirlo is saying he knows what to do. Is it the one of Tuto Sport saying that Chesney will start in the goal, because uh, we will speak about Buffon, uh, de with Demiral, De Ligt and Bonucci, the three defenders and Alexandro to the left, Bernardeschi, Ramsey on the wings, Bentancur, McKenny in the middle, Ronaldo and Morata. Will that be the lineup, the official lineup? Uh, a strange lineup because at the moment, uh, until now, Pirlo never ever started with the three pure defenders like Bonucci, Demiral, and De Ligt. I'm really curious to see if this will be a solution, yes or not, or if the Danilo will play. For sure, the uh, Quadrado will be on the bench. Or will it be the team that Cristiano Ronaldo yesterday spoiled on Instagram? Uh, a beautiful picture. Uh, I believe that can that team can have more sense. So uh, check the picture if you want to uh, press pause on the video so that you can see who can be the uh, lineup of today. Will it be the one that Cristiano Ronaldo spoiled? I'm curious. And then inside Tuto Sport, they are speaking about Juve doppio schiaffo double slap in the face why because yesterday Morata received the news about the um, suspensions two games at the moment he will miss uh, Torino game the derby this weekend and then Genoa is it a hard news yes is it the correct news I don't know because looks like he just said it was an embarrassing decision on the penalty that you didn't give us to the referee and that's why he received two games Juventus will go into appeal Juventus usually never Never going to appeals when there are um, referee decisions this time they do so I, they really give a total support on Morata believing them and then another uh, news uh, negative news because we said double slap in the face is Chiellini Chiellini, Chiellini that is injured again I gave my opinion yesterday uh, more in details on the news uh, so you can you can check I will post the uh, you know upside you can see you can find the link so that you can click on it Buffon Buffon will be out according to uh, Gianluca Di Marzo he will be a third game that he will be out out and yesterday Alexandro was in press conference nice to see him speaking a perfect Italian yesterday he said some interesting things he wants to see uh, uh, an evolution of Juventus increasing in the how, how we play not only when we have the ball but also we don't have the ball in non-possession phase that will be an important one and then they are saying that every time he was on the transfer market but he always stayed a sign of loyalty Alexandro is becoming really an icon of this Juventus uh, remaining at Juventus for so many seasons is starting to be really an image of Juve Kulusevski he will probably start and the good news is that uh, uh, since the start of uh, 1920 uh, season until now he's the guy under 21 so younger than 21 years old that played the most games in Serie A 44 games he scored the most goals 12 goals he gave the most assists 8 assists so amazing performance from Kulusevski I really hope that he can find his place in Juventus because in Juventus it's not the same as playing as Parma. De Ligt and CR and CR7 il top, De Ligt and CR7 the top. Why are they saying that? Because both of them are entering uh, the nominee of the best team of 2020 
totally deserved, totally deserved for both of them, the striker, the top striker and the defender. Speaking about the top stri striker, yesterday he won the Golden Foot Awards uh, voted by the football fans around the world. He has beaten Messi. Why? Because it's a trophy that you can only win one time in your career. Ronaldo was before Messi. Really great news. Not only him, but also the president. President Danieli, the first president to receive the Golden Foot um, uh, Award as well. Not as a player, but as a, a currently active president of a, uh, of a football team. I believe it's totally correct because what uh, what Agnelli did was amazing. Is Cristiano Ronaldo the first Juventus player to win that trophy? No, because as my friend BI1897 reported yesterday on Twitter, we already had other players like Buffon that wanted Alessandro Del Piero, my god, and Pavel Nedved, the vice president of Juve. So guys, this was it for me. Don't forget, if you are new and you want to be informed every single day about what's going on in the world of Juve, consider to subscribe. If you are already on the channel, don't forget the likes. Maximum of likes, guys, and we see each other at halftime and post-game for Juventus Dinamo Kiev. Thank you, Forza. Juve.